Hey everyone, so tell me about yourself. The most common job interview question of all time. Usually the thing is that they ask you first as an icebreaker when you first sit down at your job interview. Now, there are a million ways to answer this open-ended question and there's also about a million YouTube videos out there giving you various ways to answer it. Today I'm going to give you the quickest simplest and the best way I've seen to answer this question. Okay, let's look at this thing from the other side of the fence. Let's look at it from the perspective of the recruiter or hiring manager. Usually when you post a position, you get a lot of responses and you may well end up with, especially these days, with a little over 100 candidates applying for the position and you are a part of that 100 lot. So for you, this is an elimination game. Your job is to go from 100 applications down to one candidate that you select as a recruiter. Now, from the perspective of the job seeker who is being interviewed, you don't know the criteria they use to eliminate people. Oh, sure, there is posted requirements for the position, but the problem is that more than one person may meet all posted requirements. So there is often a hidden criteria that they don't tell you of what will get you eliminated or hired. For example, something I've seen in the past is a hiring manager who's a fan of a particular sports team. And if you happen to volunteer that you're a fan of the opposing sports team, that may be grounds to eliminate you on the fact that you might not be a good fit. Unethical, yeah, but that's a reality. This does happen. Now, we are going to make one assumption here, and that is, they have actually read your resume. If you apply for a position and you've sent in your resume and then they later receive it and call you for an interview, that means they have gone through your resume. But not always. I have seen cases where this has not actually occurred, but in the vast majority of cases, we can assume this to be true. So what does this mean? This means that the content on your resume is safe. Everything you've written on there did not result in you getting eliminated. So it's safe, your content is good, and we're going to be coming back to that. Now when you get asked, tell me about yourself in a job interview, this is what you do. Start off by saying, well, as you can see from my resume, that's the first thing you say. Then go down your resume in a chronological order starting with the oldest material and then getting closer to the press and finally talking about your most recent experience. This should take roughly about 45 seconds, not more than a minute. Then end with a phrase that this is what brings me here today and why I'm excited to learn more about this opportunity. You see, your purpose in a job interview is to communicate to the person interviewing you how you are the right person for the job meeting all the requisite skill requirements they call it competency and that's your purpose in the interview you don't want to waste your time talking about something you did 15 years ago that has absolutely nothing to do with this position and is just taking up time that's why you want to summarize your resume in less than a minute and that would work See, it's a well-known fact that people absorb and retain only a small proportion of what they hear. It's like a very small percentage of what you hear that you actually understand and retain and can recall later. So that's why you want to mention more than once how you meet all the qualifications. You want to make sure it registers in their mind. So when you get the question, tell me about yourself, all you have to do is say it well. As you can see from my resume and then you summarize your resume in less than a minute maybe start with your education start with your oldest experience and then come up chronologically to the present where you end with your most recent experience and then you end with a phrase and that's what brings me here today and why I'm excited to learn more about this opportunity so if you want to spend as much time as possible talking about this opportunity, not stuff you've done in the past, that's why it's very important to try and steer the conversation from something you've done years ago to get them to talk about this position so you can explain how you meet the requirements. So this is actually part of a 
new YouTube series I'm doing helping you prepare for your job interview. I'm going to go through all the common job interview questions and we're going to talk about the hiring process in general. I actually teach this as a, at a postgraduate level and I've been on both sides of it, hiring and being hired. So hopefully that'll be useful for you. Please take a moment now to click the like, subscribe and bell buttons. So once again, I'm Dr. Ash John. Thank you so much for being here and watching my videos. You are awesome.